What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. Uh, man, it's been, I think, about two weeks again since we did another video um, of anything, really. But uh, that's only because, basically, what this whole video is about is how to go ahead and make, or how to make uh, $1,000 in one week while working your day job. Now, it's difficult if you don't really have a lot of flexibility with your job, but it's still possible. And I'm gonna basically show you how, or tell you how. And uh, I'll show you or tell you how I do it with the time I have available in my day. Um, and mind you, I don't try to overload myself. I do what is manageable. It is, you know, pretty difficult to do because, you know, sometimes you need time. Um, flipping couches requires time, uh, physical effort. Uh, so sometimes I have to, you know, if I can come home, change, because I'll still be wearing my work uniform and flipping and, you know, picking up couches and sometimes delivering them or both. And, and I get all sweaty just from lifting the couches. I do it myself normally and loading them, strapping them in, yada, yada, yada. But basically, I'm uh, gonna show you a brief video on how I usually do it. I use the time, the free, the free time I have available to uh, go on Facebook Marketplace or offer up, look for what I find uh, you know, locally or in my area that I know I can possibly flip and make a good profit off of. Um, and I'll usually, you know, if I don't have that much time, if I have only a few seconds, a few minutes to just glance at my phone, scroll, find stuff that I know that I could probably fill it, I'll save it and get back to it, uh, the next time I have free time, uh, and the, or, and reach, reach out to the person who has them for sale and basically, uh, use the next amount of free time to either post the post what I picked up, pick up the item, uh, uh, sell the item, or deliver the item on all the spaces of time I have throughout my day. And I know some people work uh, a legitimate nine to five. Uh, some people work eight to four, uh, or seven to four, or anything of that nature. Nine to six, ten to six, stuff like that. Um, with maybe between 30 minutes to an hour well uh, for a lunch time that is um, and if you only have that much time in the middle of your day use that 30 minutes to put together a deal for you to go take care of at least half of it at the end of work you know which means don't go straight home uh, obviously if you have a truck you can go straight from work and go for example to go pick up uh, a couch that you can flip uh, and or if you already have one with you or at your local storage unit or in your garage use that after work time frame to go ahead and deliver it but you can you can do it it's possible I myself I'm doing it now um, I actually I have I haven't picked up one yet it's Monday now um, and I haven't picked up a new one yet, but I'm working on it. And uh, once I do, then I go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and post it up. If I have to clean it, then it's gonna take me longer before I before I can post it up. But if there's nothing wrong with it, I'll go ahead and take unload it out of my truck. And I'll stage the stage the couch, take some really nice pictures. Um, you know, I'll, I'll store it in my uh, I use my garage, but store it in my garage. And uh, yeah, I'll go back upstairs uh, in my condo and and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and list the item as soon as possible. Usually it takes me about an hour or so to get at least one hit, uh, one message of someone interested, depending on the item, how popular it is in the area. And basically I'll try to put together the whole deal. Hopefully I can get it sold uh, and then if I do, which is the same day, uh, if I do, then I go ahead and try to use when I get off work, I'll schedule the time with the customer 
to either go deliver it. I offer free delivery most of the time. Uh, it's rare that people come and pick it up for me, although I don't want them having my address anyway. So I, I usually just willingly deliver, just keeping, you know, me and my wife safe. But, um, but yeah, it's possible. Uh, give yourself a, a number that you would like to do during a week. I try to do five a week, and I usually uh, sell between a profit margin of about $100 to as high as $500 profit per couch, and I try to do that. Last two weeks, I actually fell short and still made $1,300 per week, um, so I'm actually on pace for doing uh, over 5K this month um, while working my job, which unfortunately makes less than this. But uh, combined, it definitely definitely helps, and you see a bunch of gravy left over. But basically, long story short, we're gonna go ahead and get into a video real quick on just quickly how I look through things, and I'm doing it quickly based on if you have a 10 minute break, 15 minute break, 30 minute lunch, hour lunch, um, how fast I kind of go through things, scour through things. Uh, the video didn't really show that there was a lot of items. Otherwise, I would have showed that I would have messaged the person and everything. But for the most part, I'll, I'll show another video in that regard, uh, maybe for the end of the week uh, in regards to actually messaging the person, what I usually say. Uh, and I kind of repeat the same thing over and over. In some cases, uh, it gets so monotonous, my phone remembers exactly what I ask because I say it so many times. But yeah, let's go ahead and get to another video or into the video in regards to... Uh, how you can go about trying to find couches to flip in your area while working your job for a thousand dollars profit per week it's possible anybody can do it all right you guys this basically is uh what it looks like on my phone we're gonna go ahead and go on facebook marketplace and basically what i'm doing whenever i have time during my job before my job lunch break breaks whatever I'm looking for couches I'd like to try to pick up. I'd usually scroll around, look for different types, styles, and try to see what's out there and available during the week. Uh, try to find something that I like, uh, message the person, see if it's available, ask if there's any damages. Uh, I usually, as you can see here, I usually like to you know, save what I like just in case I wanna do it later on um, when I do have time to message them so I won't lose the listing. But basically, you know, message the person, see if the item's available, um, you know, check very thoroughly, see what's out there, uh, make sure nothing is damaged, um, see if it's available, ask uh, when you can probably schedule to pick it up around your work schedule, and basically go pick it up as soon as you're free, and if you need to clean it up or what have you, clean it up in your next free op opportunity, if you don't, just take pictures as soon as you can. Uh, mind you, this is if you have a truck. Uh, usually can happen a little bit faster. If you have to uh, rent, then I would actually do this more on the weekends, a little easier. But yeah, as you can see here, I'm just looking around trying to see if I can find something. Um, and I don't, this, it doesn't literally look like I can find a whole lot right now uh, during this time uh, during the week. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go over to offer up and check the same thing check the listing see what people are selling and if i can find anything uh ideally cheaper than 150 and below i buy used some people go to auctions and buy new for around the same price or a little more but i'd like to keep my budget uh around 150 dollars or no or less and basically yeah i will go ahead and buy buy them as soon as i have time available bring them home uh, take pictures and basically post it up and try to go ahead and sell them.